Hey guys, Trife here, back again with another banger. If you don't know, Hammer got added to your entire boxing game recently, the new rare style that's dominating the scene right now, and you guys have been desperately, desperately asking me to rate the style on the tier list I made a few days ago. Well, I say a few days ago, but like over a week ago, which got 33,000 views, by the way. Thank you for that. I love you guys. But regardless, you guys want to hear my opinion on the style of strength as it is, and if it should get nerfs in the future. I'll also be rating Wolf, considering he got a slight nerf. Although it depends on what you consider slight, because one frame is actually pretty significant in this game. And it's kind of similar in speed to Ippo's M2, which is pretty fast as is. And yeah, that's basically all there is to it. If you guys like the video, you know what to do. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and join the Discord down below. Let's get straight into it. Do you want to earn Robux just from playing games on Roblox? Well, don't worry, the video isn't over yet, but I'd just like to say that this video is brought to you by this channel's partner, Kinjo. Kinjo is an amazing app that you can link to your Roblox, so you can get paid Robux for playing Roblox games, improving your skills as a gamer in the process. Kinjo ranks the best quality games to help gamers like you level up their skills. Each game is ranked according to a 0-5 to five flame scale, based on the learning potential in each game. The higher the rank of the game, the more Kinjo coins you earn. Earn. With your Kinjo coins, you can redeem them for Robux in the app. You can also invite your friends and complete interactive missions together that boost the amount of Kinjo coins you can earn. Show your parents that this app is a way to play higher quality games on Roblox that are safe and higher quality. They can subscribe to Kinjo Plus, which will double the amount of coins you can earn. So what are you waiting for? Download Kinjo now and start playing games to earn Robux. Make sure to use my referral code KEMKEG when signing up to earn 300 coins for free. Once you sign up, share my referral code with your friends so you all get extra Kinjo coins. We'll also be doing a lot of giveaways for UBG such as Unusuals and Coins in conjunction with a bunch of Robux giveaways for people who actually sign up to Kinjo using my referral code. Make sure to not forget this very important step if you want free Robux, free UBG Unusuals and UBG Coins. Download Kinjo in the pinned comment and the description to earn Robux while playing games and having fun. Alright, so before I get into the style of the hour as well as Wolf, let me just make a quick adjustment to this tier list that I should have made like days ago. Let me just... There we go. Yeah, so this style is not as good as I thought it was, not even close. Let me give you a rundown of why that is the case. I said Kronos is essentially hands low but with a mode that buffs it even further, making it so that it's hands low but just way better. That was just dead wrong. Kronos has worse dashes, has way worse M1 damage, doesn't have a counter multiplier on its M1s, which is really bad. It has less than 100 HP, so it has the same weakness as Freedom, while around the same block durability. And not only that, even in focus, I think think it has around the same dashes as Hanslow, but I can't verify that. But yeah, I thought that Focus was able to counteract these weaknesses like tenfold because how strong I assumed Focus actually is. But it's actually really hard to maintain Focus when you consider the fact that rollback is just really janky. That's something I neglected to mention or even realize, but you can lose focus without even getting hit whatsoever, and that's a really big issue. Not to mention that maintaining Kronos even without rollback tank is pretty difficult, and it's like the main way you can make the style remotely viable. And if your opponent is able to like maintain aggression and like force you to do an option, it can be really hard to emote whatsoever, because there's a specific gap that it's essentially start up to emote because you have to go navigate to that emote. You can be really quick with it, but there's still a specific gap that they can utilize to actually punish you for emoting, and that's something that a lot of Kronos players don't seem to realize themselves. As a result, I don't think it's better than the likes of Ghost of Freedom. Ghost can definitely like hard counter Kronos, purely due to the fact that Ghost's ability to maintain pressure can eclipse Kronos' ability to farm focus. Although I have heard that depending on how good you are with backdashing, you can just cycle through Kronos in and out, but I myself haven't found that strategy to be entirely effective. Now, when it comes to the style of the hour, Hammer. Quite contrary to Kronos, I actually think this style is undoubtedly S tier, and I'm gonna be straight with you. I I'm not joking, I actually think this is one of the best styles in the entire game. Reason the reason why it's simple, it's essentially old rework Ippo, which was A+, and around the same place it already was, being better than Smash. But in return for having worse dashes, it has a block bypass that does amount uh, uh, around the same damage as an Iron Fist M2, which is insane, and not 
only does it do as much damage as that, it has a cooldown. It doesn't have a damage meter that requires you to use the move. So you can cycle in and out of gain your ability back and just farm the hell out of Iron Fist M2s. Now I know it's a reaction check, it's a grab, people can just dash out of it, but the only way you can realistically dash out of Hammer's grab is through back dashing. Side dashing is so risky and really, really cool, especially if they do it instantly on block. Not to mention if they do the tech where they M1 stagger directly into the grab, making it pretty difficult to fight against. I have found that it's a bit buggy, you can sometimes block it, and other times it just won't proc entirely, but that's few and far between. In general, it does a crap ton of damage, the pressure with it is crazy, and its base stats are really, really good, except for its dashes, and I believe its range. Its speed seems decent, it seems faster than old rework Epo, surprisingly, but again, I can't verify that myself, but overall, this is a very strong style, and I do expect nerfs to it. Although, there is an argument to be made that might be uh, around A+, worse than counter, then maybe even smash. It, it's like the lowest of the S tier. As for Wolf, however, the one frame difference to the, its first M2, did it do much to it whatsoever? There's a clear difference in its speed, but overall, I think it's in the exact same placement as it was before. You can still reliably land the M2 mid M1 string and not risk instantly getting perfect dodged. It's just marginally easier to perfect dodge it on reaction. It's not to the extent that it's hard nerfed the style, at least in my experience, because I actually made the style now. And in general, it's still just as compatible with absolute spam as it was before. The fact that it has no end lag on its first M2s is absolutely crazy. And it really is just a mix up demon, regardless of whether or not it's frame, one frame fast or one frame slower. And yeah, that's basically all there is to it. If you guys like the tier list, make sure to comment down below. If you think I'm completely wrong, make sure to correct me in the comment section. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.